Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The exact model is an 14 IGL05 and in this video I'm gonna cover up how you can open it up, how you can remove or replace your battery for this model. If your battery is not holding up any more charge and you just want to replace it, in this video is for you. By removing the battery you're not gonna disconfigure or change anything in the system so it's pretty much safe to do it. I'm going to cover the tools that I'll be using. It's a simple uh, screwdriver set. I recommend you guys the iFixit screwdriver set. They are made out of S2 class steel bit. They are really toughened. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab for the opening tool, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this two on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, once you flip it upside down, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There's two sets of screws in here, the short ones in front of the laptop and the medium, which is the rest of the screws that they made back. We're gonna remove all of them and we're gonna keep them in two different piles so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrade, repaste or cleaning, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now we, the fun part begins. We're gonna grab the opening tool. We're gonna start from the corner back. We're gonna stick the guitar pick the, or the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, and we're gonna twist it backward, and we're gonna see that opening. We want to do that all around towards the front corner. And we're going to do the front side of the laptop. Just work yourself through. Do the left and right side, both sides. And the back side usually don't need to. Just as long as you do the side and the front, you can grab it up and wiggle around. It will release really easily the back end. So there we have it. And right away, you can see the battery right in front of you. So the model for the battery is an L16M2PB2. That's the model. This is a 7.5 volt battery, which is rated at 4,670 milliamp hour battery, 35 watt. To remove the battery, there's three screws holding it down. One, two, three. You can remove three screws. And you can just grab the battery. Pull it up, bring it up, and pull the jack, you know, pull the battery towards yourself, and it will slide away from the jack. These cables are really tough cables, so you're not gonna damage it. But anyway, you're gonna replace it, so what the hell? So let's say that you got the new battery in, make sure the orientation, the plus and minus, are facing this way, so you don't wanna put it the other way around. It won't even fit in there if you try. It's kinda dummy proof. All right, so what you want to do, you want to, before you align the battery in its place, you want to align the jack. Make sure the jack goes straight inside the connector. And then you want to align the battery on the screw holes. Once it's aligned on the screw holes, then you want to just put the screws right on top. Just remember, once you replace your battery, you don't want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it on off position, off state, I mean and leave it for charging at least for five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to turn it on without the charger plugged in, and you want to discharge it completely. And once it's discharged completely, you want to power off, and again, leave it for charging for another five to six hours. Then after that, you can just use it as you wish. All right, once you finish up, just put the bottom cover on, squeeze the top side really hard to make sure you hear those click sounds. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws right on top. And that should cover this video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.